We are all June right now. Tilda Sonia Irona, pretending she actually likes Fear the Walking Dead but also, we are all June now because we all totally had our husbands shot to death recently by a teenage girl. That sort of unites us, don't you think? Sunday's episode of Fear the Walking Dead brings back a character that up to this point we've only ever heard about and never seen. So yeah, not Madison. There be spoilers ahead, ye scallywags. While I have good reason to believe at this point that Madison, Kim Dickens, will indeed return at some point, I don't think it will happen in season 6, or at least not until the very end of the season at the earliest. More on this in another post. Instead, the returning character is John Dory Sr., Keith Carradine, the long-lost father of John Dory Jr. Garrett Dillahunt, who, up to this point, everybody assumed was dead. What a strange coincidence that June, Jenna Elfman, should run into him now, just a couple episodes after Dakota, Zoe Coletti, shot poor John in cold blood, and was subsequently embraced by the Morganites with open arms. June was turned away from Morgan Town because Morgan, Lenny James, was mad at her over the whole Grace's baby dying thing. I guess June wouldn't come to them and he was forced to come to her instead. That doesn't sound like June at all. Sounds more like the writers trying to create a nonsensical scenario to me. We don't see Grace, Karen David, at all, but I suppose she's all bent out of shape as well, what with having to lose her baby after meeting her as a teenager in Dreamland. So June is turned away and off she goes, meeting up with Dwight and Sherry along the way before running into a mysterious sharp shooter. She pursues the shooter and follows him into his RV where she sees walls filled with investigative pictures and clues and so forth, all pointing toward the believers, the wacko cult led by Teddy that sprays, the end is the beginning, everywhere. The sharpshooter appears and points a gun at June, asks her if she's one of them. It turns out he's been hunting down the same group that Morgan and Alicia, Alicia Debnam Carey, have been looking for, but hasn't had quite as much luck. This, despite him having been on the hunt apparently for years, while Alicia and her little crew were able to find them lick a tea split. Once the mysterious stranger realizes they're both after the same thing, he tells June to drive the RV. She's upset that they have to leave her friends, but honestly since neither Dwight nor Sherry has arrived to help her at this point I'm not sure why she cares. Of course, once they drive off both Dwight and Sherry, especially Sherry, are deeply concerned and ride after the RV on horseback. Despite Dwight telling Sherry repeatedly not to overwork the horses, she just keeps going at a mad gallop until her horse collapses.